Today is National Trails Day, June 7th. This is America's largest celebration of trails. I'm at Angelina National Forest in East Texas, and I'll be spending three days, two nights in the back country. I'm camping with just a tarp, and that tarp will be turned into a, a hammock and a haversack. All of these materials are, are custom made. They're, they're really neat. Now what's in my haversack? In the front pouch, let me show you what's in the front pouch. A little trowel, an emergency kit with a compass and cordage and uh, a whistle and an extra light, a water purifier, a little camera tripod, that's some of my food, more food, and these are rocks that I collected along the way. This is flint, and the flint will be used with a uh, fire steel to start a fire. And so I'll be using flint and steel. And again, I collected the flint along the way. This is my fire kit. Again, this, this kit, this case was a gift. Little, little um, Altoid tin with charred cloth and, and charred material. A one fire striker that was a gift. And a second fire striker that was a gift. And I'm listing the names of who gave these gifts as, as I'm saying it. And these gifts are really spectacular. I really appreciate them. And then, of course, some, some more char cloth. So I look forward to using those. And that's essentially all I have. Now I have wrapped up in this uh, tarp, which is a really neat tarp. I have some other food and um, a little cooking pot. The cordage that I'm using to hang this on is actually the cordage that I will use to uh, hold a hammock, and you'll see it as I put it together.
Bon appétit. Sure is good. It's getting dark quickly. I'm gonna put my headlamp on. You'll see. Now you can see it a little bit better. It's hard to make out the way. But we're up here not too much farther. Home sweet home. I put two stakes in the ground to take my, when I take my boots off, I can put my boots in upside down so nothing crawls in them. And I'm gonna put my haversack right up here on this, right on this tree limb right here so I can get to it easily should I need to during the night. Let me turn it this way. I also have a, an extra pair of socks. I always take a second pair of socks with me when I camp like this because although I'm sleeping in my clothes, the one thing I want to have to stay dry and comfortable is clean socks. So I'm gonna take my boots off. Yeah, that works pretty well. It's gonna stay warm tonight. Uh, and so I don't really need to sleep in anything other than uh, just to have this mosquito cloth above me to keep the mosquitoes out. Although I haven't had any, any bites so far, so I'm not sure there are very many out yet. We'll see you guys in the morning. Sweet dreams. Pretty comfy inside. Very relaxing. Turn the light out. This is roomier than a regular hammock. The fabric for the tarp is breathable and so it uh, really is comfortable. It has more than the advantages of canvas. It's uh, breathable, waterproof, uh, fire resistant, and about half the weight of canvas. It's a really interesting material. It looks like canvas and feels like canvas, but it has quite a few advantages. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and just go to sleep. Just look up here at the sky as it gets dark. Good morning. I slept pretty well. No mosquitoes bit. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. Oh man, oh, time to get up. Let's see. Get my shoes on. Nothing fell out.
there's nothing like a hot cup of coffee to start the day. Mm. I'm going to set my hammock up about 100 feet off trail over there. It won't be very easy to spot because of the thick vegetation. You see my hammock? It's pretty well hidden. Uh, the trail goes right along here. I think I'm going to mark the spot right here on the trail. Mmm. 
Those berries are sweet. Chicken teriyaki and rice. Looks pretty good. You like a bite? Sure got dark quickly. I hope I can find that mark I put in the ground as to where to turn off for the hammock. Should be coming up here pretty soon. I'm going to go slow to see if I can see it. I found it. Well, home at last. It's really comfy in this hammock. Yeah, I'm going to look up at the stars tonight like I did last night and then go to sleep that way. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. Bet your guys are wondering if I was eaten alive by mosquitoes. The answer is no. Uh, no mosquitoes here. Not yet. I think it's also because I'm, I'm uh, camping with American beautyberry plants all around and they repel mosquitoes as effectively as DEET. It's really a, a great plant. Anyway, it's time to get out. Uh, and let me show you the beauty berry plant. This is it right here. And not only does it repel insects, uh, but it will bloom in a, in a few weeks. You can just right here see the, these are where the blossoms will be. It has a lilac color, a light purple color flowers and then a purple, bright red, purple berries. That's how it's named, the American Beauty Berry. And if you want some really good mosquito repellent, 
you just take a few leaves, crush them up, and then rub that on your skin. And uh, some recent tests have shown that this is just as effective as DEET in repelling uh, mosquitoes and also ticks. And so I just rub that on myself and nobody bothers me. Well, I'm going to take down my hammock. Now, a number of you may have wondered, well, what is this vine? Is this poison ivy that I'm uh, camped up next to? And the answer is no. This is Virginia creeper. It has one, two, three, four, five leaves. And a lot of number, number of people confuse it with poison ivy. There is poison ivy here, and you have to be really careful not to camp uh, next to a tree that has that on it. I've done it before. I, I've learned the hard way. I don't think anybody saw me last night. Well, I'm going to head down the trail. It's a lot of fun to get outdoors and practice a little dirt time. I would like to make a couple of announcements. First of all, I have a new series starting, and this series is on the bushcraft uses of sticks. This is a, a bushcraft community project. I've already had, had contributions. Barry Jordan has uh, composed and uh, has sung a, the theme song for the new video series. And also, a Bob 808 Knight is filming uh, different sequences where he's using sticks. Very quickly, right after this video, I'll post a, the trailer to the sticks video. Check it out and give me your feedback. A second announcement is that I am going to be off-grid for about six weeks. And this is for pleasure. Uh, I'll be off-grid so you won't see any YouTubes from me for about six weeks. Uh, when I have an internet connection, I will check my mail and I uh, may upload a, a few little short notes or pictures on my Facebook page. My Facebook page is called Bushcraft and Nature. Until we meet again, peace.